Durst the worst. Oh, Durst the worst. Durst is the worst. Durst 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 the worst. It's all about the law-abiding citizens. In Chicago, in the last two years, there's been 4,700 plus shootings. And we have a Democratic congressman in running for re-election in Chicago, holding a gun in a gun-free zone, doing a mock assass assassination of President Trump. And then they say the law-abiding citizens are the issue. Well, we're not. And it's time for all of us to stand up and refuse to take it anymore. I ask our Republican leaders to stomp these laws that are being addressed out in Wisconsin and all states. And there's so many of them across the nation that refuse to stand up and fight. And we can't allow that to happen. Our God is great. Our God looks over us. I'm asking our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to look over us today and keep everybody safe, get everybody home safe. I have a son. He's 17 years old and he hunts with me. I've been hunting my whole life. In case anybody doesn't know what it is, I hunt with a Browning 308, semi-automatic with a 10 round clip. It doesn't look like no AR. And by the way, AR stands for Armor Light. It's the design manufacturer of the weapon. If we allow them to, to take our, our rifles, to confiscate, have a mandatory confiscation or buyback, what are they going to do next? Come for our hunting rifles? They're going to come all for all our rifles. This is called incrementalization, folks. This is where they take a tiny bite out of the Constitution. And then a little bigger one, and a little bigger one. And their goal is not to keep America safe. Their goal is to make America disarmed. And we cannot allow that. We have the biggest civilian army in the world. Why do you think we have never had a foreign war in our country? Because our, our civilian army will stand up to any foreign army. Stick together, folks. Tell your Republican leaders, tell your new elected officials, tell the people, vote for the right people when you vote. Never let them take our weapons. I say to my son, he's in the military, he just joined the Marine Corps. Here's what they do when they want to confiscate your weapons. They use the police force. I and I want to thank all the police officers here today for their service and for keeping our area safe. But they use the police force. And I urge the police force, if they come to confiscate weapons, don't do it. Because you're part of this too. And that means you're unsafe in our country. And if they need the military to do it, I told my son, I said, don't turn on your own people. The Democrats did that in the Civil War. They went against their own people. We had the North and the South and the war would stop so brothers and fathers and uncles and cousins could stop on the battlefield, walk across the battlefield and hug their other loved ones fighting on the other side. We do not want it to lead to that. We want to protect our country. We want to protect our Lord and Savior. We want, I, and let me tell you something, folks. My Lord and Savior says, blessed is the man who is willing to die for his brother. I am willing to die for every one of you today. I am willing to die for our constitutional rights. Thank you all for being here. I just want to say before I leave, Lord, please look over this event today. 
Please keep us all safe and, and, and allow us to get home safe. Please look over all our police officers that are here today so that they can have a safe event and get home to their families tonight. Thank you all for being here. And God bless you and God bless America. Thank you, John. You're trying, bitch.